So, by now you've probably heard about how Game of Thrones' last two seasons may be incredibly short as the show reaches its final stages. For those of you who don't know, let me explain. Two days ago, showrunners David Benoff and Dan Weiss sat down with Variety Magazine for an interview and basically told them that after season 6, there will be around 13 episodes left until the show's storyline is completely done. David Benoff is quoted as saying, I think we're down to our final 13 episodes after this season. We're heading into the final lap. But that nothing is set in stone. People behind the scenes over HBO clarify that the number of episodes they have left is premature and that they've begun outlining the final part of the story. HBO's programming president Michael Lombardo confirmed that he is in negotiations with the two showrunners to continue on for two more seasons, but doesn't know if it'll be for 20 more episodes. Okay, so as a fan, I call this bullshit. Not because I think they're lying, but because they spent so much of their time excluding certain plot points and narratives that could have not only made the story more interesting, but would have stretched it out without being too boring, making it seem like filler. Now let's argue both sides for a minute here. A while back I did a video on how the showrunners don't want to run Game of Thrones on for too long because they don't want the show to get stale. They have a set number of episodes they feel they can tell the overall story in, and I respect that. Unlike some shows that seem to go on forever, like Supernatural or The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones knows when to say enough is enough. You can respect that not only as a fan, but as someone who knows good television. However, as a fan of the books, I need to call bullshit on this for a couple of reasons. Number one, you have more than 8,000 pages of materials to comb through and adapt, and the best thing you can give us is the fat guy fucking a skinny girl? If I wanted that, I'd watch Family Guy. Thanks. And yes, I'm talking about Sam and Gillian. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me tell you why I hate them. Their story and purpose is pretty much done. Sam, for the most part, has a lot of potential, but they just waste it on the usual trope of him being a slow, chubby guy who just can't catch a break. They missed a huge opportunity with him by not giving him scenes with Melisandre, or even Stannis for that matter. As for Gilly, the actress must be working for free because she had a purpose in the books, but they never really used that material in the show, so at this point, whenever she's on screen, it's filler. For those of you who don't know what filler is, filler is basically them trying to fill extra time with stuff that doesn't happen in the original story. Like, remember when Arya and the Hound have their many adventures in the fourth season? Yeah, a majority of that was filler because not only was it stretched out, but there was also moments that really served no purpose. Arya and the Hound should have been cut down to half the season and should have ended with her arrival in Braavos and entering the House of Black and White. Not only that, but this season will bring in a new villain, Euron Greyjoy, who should have been integrated into the series in Season 5. It almost seems like they're rushing a lot of the show towards the finale when they have so much more they could put in there. To say they're only down to the last 13 episodes is kind of dumb because there's still so much more to do, so much more to see and people to run into. Preston Jacobs has an incredible series called What You're Missing, which goes through each episode of every season and tells you the things they left out from the books, and it's an interesting look at what it could have been. I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested. But, to the point. To say that they're only down to 13 episodes after season 6 is completely not true. They just don't want to go to the extra mile of reintroducing plot lines and characters from the books. I know that seems harsh to say, like I don't appreciate their efforts, which is not true. I do. I just think that more could have been done to stretch out the show while not making it boring. You cut out the vast mysteries of the books like Cold Hands and Quaith for unnecessary stuff like Sam and Gilly or Masande and Grey Worm. It's not needed. What they should have done was introduce Euron last season, given direct and Martell more to do than just sit there and yell at Ilaria and shown us more of the world and that all can be done without feeling too stale. The showrunners want to do what Jerry Seinfeld did with his show, Seinfeld. Jerry wanted to stop while the show was at its finest and didn't want to continue in the hopes that they could end it before it got bad and that does happen. Just look at HBO's True Blood. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's basically if Twilight wasn't written for 13 year old girls. I used to be such a big fan of True Blood until the writing got stale and you could tell that the showrunners didn't want to do it anymore but they kept on with it anyways because they wanted to milk it until it was dead in the ground. I get that the showrunners don't want that to happen to their show, which they gave up almost a decade of their lives to create. I get that. I respect and understand that. But at the same time, there were things they could have done not only to capture the feel of the original material, but to make it just long enough to still be an enjoyable experience for the viewer without being too stale. What they'll probably end up doing is making season 7 10 or 12 episodes, and then for season 8 they'll just close it up with a 2-3 to three hour movie slash special to end it on the proper note by making sure they give all the surviving characters a definitive closing. But this is all just my opinion. Leave your thoughts below and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Baba Booey.